G'day mates. Today I'll show you how to set up and use Apple Sleep so you can track your sleep stages on your Apple Watch. It's pretty straightforward, it's a lot of fun, so let's begin. Now first off, what equipment do you need? Well you need one of these, of course, an Apple Watch Series 4 and above, running Watch OS 9 and above, and also an iPhone. Now ideally, you want an iPhone 8 and above. You can get away with like a 6S and above, However, there starts to be some compatibility issues with what watch you can connect to an iPhone 6S, especially some of the newer watch models. So once you've got these two things, you're good to go. To start, we'll head across to the watch app. Scroll down to where you see sleep. Here it is down the bottom here, sleep. And just make sure you have track sleep with Apple Watch toggled on and charging reminders toggled on as well. Next up, open up Apple Health. Down the bottom right, click Browse and then scroll down until you find the sleep category. Here it is. Now my screen will look a little different to your screen because I've previously set up Apple Sleep. But if you're doing it for the first time, just click Get Started or whatever it says, follow the prompts set up your sleep schedule, your little wind down time if you like, and then you're good to go. So once that's done, in order for Apple to track sleep and show you your sleep stage data, you need to do two things. Number one, you need to wear your watch for four hours or longer. Apple won't track sleep unless it's four hours or longer. You can't have a nap on the couch for 30 minutes or so. And number two, you need to be in what's called sleep focus mode. That's really important. It's kind of like do not disturb mode, but for sleep, sleep focus mode. And there's two ways we can switch on sleep focus mode. One, a manual way. And I'll show you that now. It's really easy to do. Just scroll down. You can do it on your watch here as well. I'll show you that too. We scroll down from the top. And then you can see I've got do not disturb on right now while I'm doing the video. Click that and you can see I've got here sleep. So I click sleep, sleep is on, easy. And then when I wake up in the morning, I toggle it off. Just woke up, easy, hey? The second way is through your sleep schedule. So I'll give you an example. If you have your sleep schedule from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., at 10 p.m., your phone will switch on sleep focus. Now, it's important to know that when you have sleep focus on, it will uh, stop notifications and so on. So you're not disturbed. You won't get calls and texts. You can customize it if you want, but just standard sleep focus, you won't get notifications. So if you stay up later, you're out clubbing, waiting for a call from Jimmy, you won't get it because sleep focus will have turned on at 10 p.m. So just be aware of that. But at 10 p.m., sleep focus will turn on. And at 6 a.m., it might turn off, but it might not. Because if you sleep longer than 6 a.m., say you sleep till 10 a.m. one morning, you've had a big night on the booze, and you sleep in, well, Apple's smart enough to go, you're still sleeping. We don't want to switch off sleep focus because you're still sleeping. And if you get up earlier, say you get up at 5, it will know because you're moving around and it will say, hey, Bob, Looks like you're moving around. Do you want to switch off sleep focus and give you that option? So you can switch on sleep focus manually or automatically, and you can also use a combination of both. Say I've got my automatic time for 10 p.m., but I'm feeling tired, so I go to bed at 8 p.m., and I can manually toggle it on, or it's super easy just to change your sleep schedule as well. Let me show you it here. So once again, open up Apple Health, and then I'm already in the sleep category from before. If I scroll down here, you can see here your schedule and I just click edit. And then if all we do is just drag, you can see I'm just dragging this back. So we'll make this eight o'clock, bedtime tonight, eight o'clock. And I'm gonna wake up nice and early and go to the gym. <laughs> Not really, nine hours, there you go this schedule meets your sleep goal. So you can have a sleep goal if you want. Um, I think my sleep goal is eight hours and you can set an alarm if you want to also. So that's pretty easy to do, isn't it? And to change sleep schedule on your watch, click the sleep app and then scroll down 
to full schedule. You can see currently every day, 22.30 to 600, click that. I'm gonna go wake up, I'm gonna go 6.30 tomorrow. And bedtime, change that to 12.30. Done, it's as easy as that. So in the morning when you wake up and sleep focus is off, you can open up the Apple Health app, scroll down to sleep, and you can check out your sleep stages, your sleep cycle. And if you click here, show more sleep data, it will show you the time spent in each stage of sleep, awake, REM, core, and deep. You can see on this particular night, very nice night, zero minutes awake, two hours and 18 minutes of REM, five hours and 30 minutes of core, and 33 minutes of deep sleep. And if you scroll down here, it also gives you your percentages. So 28% of the night in REM sleep, it's looking pretty good, deep sleep 7% and so on. It's a pretty nice looking sleep cycle on that particular night. Um, you can also look at some trends and so on, like the week. All right, so over the last month, average time in bed, eight hours and 17 minutes, average time of sleep, seven hours and 59 minutes. There you go. Pretty cool stuff, hey? Apple will also give you some insights into trends and show you some highlights. So you can see here, on average, your breathing rate while sleeping has gone up the last 14 days. And this is because I've been sick. And you can see it there, it's gone up from 14.2 breaths per minute to 15.1 breaths per minute. Probably drinking a little bit too much also. Anyway, you can have a bit of a look around. I just wanted to show you how to get set up and how you can start using your Apple Watch to track your sleep stages. Now, if you're a Sleep HQ Pro member, g'day mates, you can combine all this great Apple sleep stage data collected from your Apple Watch to view alongside your CPAP therapy data on your Sleep HQ dashboard. And to do so, we'll download the Sleep O2 app from the App Store, let's do it. App Store, search Sleep, and it's O for oxygen, not a zero, O, Two, link in the description of the video down below. Here it is here, just breathe. Open. Sleep O2 would like to use Bluetooth. Click OK and then click connect Apple Health and turn on all. Allow, done. Sync ring to Apple Health, toggle on. Sync sleep data to sleep HQ. Toggle on, done. And then just come across to settings. And you can see uh, I'm already connected, but you'll need to connect up your sleep HQ account. So I'll just disconnect here. So click connect now. That'll open up sleep HQ. Put in your details. And you're connected. So here's how it all works. The Apple Watch records your sleep stage data and sends it to the sleep category in Apple Health. When you open up Sleep O2, that's our app, our app looks to see if there's any new sleep stage data in Apple Health. If there is, it grabs all that information, sends it up to the Sleep HQ cloud to view alongside your CPAP therapy data. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Until next time, sleep well, look after your mates, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. G'day mates, this video is sponsored by Sleep HQ. Upload, review and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere. Visit sleephq.com and join our free community today.